Hello and welcome back to the free to play experience. We are at Silver 21 currently. I'm gonna jump straight into the ranked games with our hoops and deck. Now I have noticed we have got just shy of 8,000 copper coins up on the left hand corner. So I'm tempted to open a few packs at the end of this episode. See how this game goes. Okay, so our first game is against Boz Kurtler. Uh, who is a silver rank 23 Raptor deck so we could do with an early hope devourer there we go uh, so, and I ate either a slime toes or God, come on I need a slime toes or a canoe where is a slime toes excellent so we're gonna go KGP slime toes hope devourer so we'll be on four base. I think that's actually it for now. Unfortunately, we did have to mulligan away all of our card draw. Go for that. Okay, this is Dondekin's deck. So hopefully putting him down to one base attack will mess him up a little bit. Because that deck doesn't really run a lot of AP gain. Oh, okay, maybe it isn't. Goblin Brute. Don't see that card run very often. A war tortoise. Interesting choice. Again, not the strongest card in my opinion. Okay, so we're on 14 health, 7 armor, but we have put him down to 1 base attack and we're on 4. Hopefully this slows him down with his in his quest to gain armor. Now we can KGP Sentinel here if we want to. I think we are going to. Sentinel, Sentinel. Uh, that we would take six damage here in total, so we'll be on fifteen life. I'm not sure I like that. I think I'll take. You know what? I'm not going to be greedy. We're just going to go for the draw. I don't want to risk losing uh, lots of a lot of losing health here. Uh, Hope Devourer, That's not necessarily the end of the world if he's stuck at one base attack. Okay, no. Could have played it because he has stamina potion. Okay, Kalpha Emissary and Knoom. Now we can one hit the Sentinels, which is excellent. I'm not sure how this deck does in this matchup, to be fair, because I don't think I do enough damage to my opponent to stop him with his Dondodinks. Okay. Right, we don't. We're not rushed for time for the hit, for the um, AP gain. So we're gonna go Alpha emissary. Yeah, we'll put the Alpha emissary there. We'll draw some cards and then we'll armor up as well. So we just want to stabilize here. Okay, so he's on three base. Gaining gold, but we're taking armor off him, which is good. Another fight cauldron. I'm looking for the Saradom in brew here. Okay, bar fight would be useful just to chip away at his armor. There's a stamina potion. Okay, so it does look like some sort of a hybrid -y AP gain. Armor gain deck. I wonder if Dondekins are even in this. Hmm. Right then. Right, we're going to go. Boom. 
Sentinel. That's a six base. We'll hit him and we'll draw. Yeah, it just looks like look, some sort of hybrid y kind of deck. Cause, cause I'm not sure why there would be troll sugars in it. it Seems to make a lot of sense. Yeah, he's just chipping away at my at my health here. But we are able to one hit the sentinel, which means we do heal. As well as gaining a base attack. Okay, that's not the end of the world. It's, it's only a net. It's only a net gain of two, I think. No, three armor. But we have just hit him for six, and now yeah, he now he's starting to armor up for the for the either the Dundercans or just for the final fight. Now what do we do here? I'd love to chip away at that armor even more. But I think the cleverer play. Doom. Sentinel. We'll have slime toes at the end. Now do we heal or okay, gain another base? I've kind of just got to hope he doesn't have Dundercants here. Choices, choices, choices. Let's go for... Let's go for the base attack. Okay, so he's gaining armor still. There's a Dundadunx. I think he's one hit. And if he's got a second one, he wins. Maybe he hasn't. I still think he might win, though. Oh, he's gaining 8 health there. That might just win him the game. Because he 1, 2, 3, 4 hits me, and I don't 3 hit him. Mm, I could do some more damage in this deck, just to try and keep those sort of decks under control. I know one card I would love to put in this is, well, there's a couple of cards. There's a Skeleton Champion and a, what do you call it, a Ketzek. Try and turn this into a hybrid Zan sort of deck. So it's dealing damage at the same time as uh, gaining armor. Like the uh, uh, Skeleton Champion kind of acts as reach as well. Find these in the collection. Skeleton Champion is there. You know what? Let's open. Let's, let's open a few packs. Regent Jumper, useless. Crafter, good for Linza. Mutated Dodinko, that's actually getting a buff next week. Obsidian Golem, useless card. And Relations Balm. Okay, that's that could be useful in an Ozan deck. Now, second pack. Ogres Champion. Now. I, it doesn't see a lot of play at the moment, but I think it could be a nice surprise card. Uh, Unholy Curse Bearer, useless. Ring of Recall, it's good for an aggro deck. Brunch, terrible deck, terrible card. And Leela, okay. Right, our third pack, we've got Berserk Shield, Blood Share, Calphite Soldier, Safalan Hollow. And a Dust Devil, so Grief Linza's looking like it could be a thing. Now we've got Sticky Sanders, Dreadnought, which is another trash card, Rock Cake, Mass Drain, and Full Tetsu. Now that is nice. Last pack. Got Adamant Dragon, Zamorakian Brew, oh, Zamorak Brew, 
Adamant Dragon again. Triara. And Work Order. No, I think Full Tetsu is definitely going in. It's such a good card. Right, how much gold do we need? We've got 15 gold. We do have a lot of spend in there. So. Honestly, I think we take out one of the Dragon Longswords. When have we actually used it? I don't, I don't think we need it. In that case, we can actually take out the other one. Not really anything that really fits in the deck like to deal a lot of damage. Unless we just put, we take out a D long. So now we're only spending 2, 6, 14, 19 gold. Shove in a troll chucker. It might try and confu uh, confuse an op uh, opponent. Actually, no. Put in another Calfight Emissary. Makes a lot more sense. It will do more damage most of the time because there's a lot of armor floating around. Plus it also has a bonus of removing three weapon durability. Yeah, I like that. So I think this deck has got a little bit stronger now. See how we go. Okay, we're against Sem, who is a level 24 a uh, rank 24 Ozan. Just and see what sort of Ozan deck this is. Okay. I'm tempted to keep one of these. Just to like, slot it randomly in the first chapter. What do we do here? What do we do here? Get rid of one. Now we've got to kind of hope we get lucky here. There we go. Right. I don't think... Do we go for the early hope devourer? We do take a lot of damage there. We don't have any easy ways to heal up because we can't afford the full Tetsu yet. So I think we just go Slime Toes into White Wolf into Calphite Emissary. I think that will do actually. Or do that. Then we're on four gold. We only need one more gold for a full Tetsu in case he is aggro. Yeah, let's go for that. Okay, so he looks like some sort of st kind of standard early basic Ozan deck if he's running Gallimar Sane, I think, unless he's a gold zone. No, it's some sort of early aggro deck. Okay. So that full Tetsu could be very, very useful if we can gain one more gold. Seeing as we are going down to 14 life. Oh dear. Oh, fledglings as well. Now, would it, would it make more sense to Nastroth into double fledgling? I think it probably would. Even better if we could get a KGP. Because then we can keep the gold for the full Tetsu. Now, I've got a feeling he will be trying to equip a weapon this chapter. It's just whether or not I can afford to tank the damage from the Calfet Emissary. Oh, uh, my opponent has actually conceded the game. So, I think we were well in control of that game, considering the healing we had in our hand. So, we're back up to rank 21. So let's see if we can start climbing again. Ranked. Oh, I hope, Zan. Now, with the nurse coming in very soon to uh, Hope Devourer, uh, I am going to need to take a look at this deck to potentially tweak it. 
because it's going to lose a lot more of its sustain. So uh, I hope Dvara is losing its armor. So uh, it's going to take a little bit of thinking. Uh, talking of Hope Devara, there's a double Hope Devara. Right. I think we go for the slope. The oh, there's Knoom. Knoom, Hope Devara. Crassian. And then Slime Toes. Seems okay to me. Giving him gold, but we need to get him early. Okay, and now we can go Hope Devourer at first slot next chapter. Okay, so some sort of... Oh, it's Boz Kurtlar again, so we know what deck he is. He's a Dundekin's deck. So getting him early with this Hope Devourer. Oh, it's not going to do anything because he did gain AP. We've got to be aggressive with our Hope Devourers here. Uh, very clever of him. He's playing around the the uh, AP removal. Uh, very well played. Uh, I could potentially slot one hope devour him, but it would leave me on three health. Ah, no, I haven't got the hope devour, so no, I can't. I mulliganed it away, didn't I? Oh, there it is. Oh, this is hard. Let's go risky. We've got to try and affect him early. This is a very risky play. Uh, he's still playing around the weapon removal. This is so annoying. Oh, the AP removal, sorry. Oh, I've got to try and get some sustain going here. Because now we're on effectively 10 life after the White Wolf. We can afford the full Tetsu if we draw it. We haven't. Calfa Emissary is good in this matchup, though. Get max value from that. Right then, we go cow fight, heal, heal. I think we actually go KGP. We no, we hold back to KGP. Go for a bar fight early again, actually. Okay, so keep his, trying to keep his armor under control here. Yep. Keeping it under control. <laughs> There's just so much armor in this deck, it's ridiculous. And now we have to slow down and heal. Okay, but he's slowing down to gain our, uh, gold, so that's good. Excellent. He's only got six arm, which is good. Oh, brilliant. He's gone early with the Donnikans. That's exactly what we wanted. So it's worth tanking this the early damage in this chapter because we've uh, made his uh, Donnikans cannon next to useless. Okay, so we go that so it's an it's a net heal 
I think we go adamant armor. Okay, so now he's he's going to try and set up for a bigger Dondekins here, and there's not a lot we can do. Other than try and sustain it. Oh no, he's gone early with the Dondekins again. So that's a 7 damage Dondekins. Right, his main win condition has gone now. So we've managed to bait out the early Dondekins by going low. And now we can heal back up. We're gaining AP, so we should be able to win in the final fight as long as we can uh, draw enough sustain. A full Tetsu would be massive in this matchup now. Because our, our AP is three times his. There's no burst damage that can come from him. Okay then. Do we play the Sentinel? I don't think we do. We play the Jubilee. Play the Nastroth. May as well throw down the Alimara Saiyans. In fact, we'll throw them down first. Okay, so... How do you do that when he hasn't got a Dondekins left? Ah, sorry to remember. That will be why. No? Ah, uh, for the gold for the Stamina Potion. Fair enough. Ice Nihil. Okay, that's a decent play. He's tanking 7 damage to gain 11 armor. And a bash at the end for 3 damage. I think we win just about. Because our base attack is over double his. We win. 3 HP win. Excellent. So that's that's shows you how not to play that Dondekins deck. You really have to make sure you kill your opponent with the Dondekins. If you go too early and don't finish them off, you're kind of a sitting duck for the final fight. Very limited as to what you can do. Okay, so we've got an Ariane next. Tari. Uh, Silver 22. Um, completely new name to me, so I have no idea what deck this person is running. Okay, so we haven't really got anything brilliant at the start. That's not going to be very useful, apart from trying to snipe an alchemy. Um, we'll get rid of the Romilly. That, we'll get rid of that. Get rid of. No, we'll keep the canoe. Okay, that's what you call a bit of a crap start. That's all we do to start with, I think. And hopefully we can see what she, what they're doing. Okay, it's some sort of aggro Ariane deck. Tanking. A, I'm not sure I rate the play of tanking a haunted soul now that it doesn't drop any gold. But oh, this is just a very aggressive. Ariane. Okay, so it's probably not the end of the world that we didn't do a lot first chapter. Another ring of recoil. Oh baby, this is aggressive. I've healed for five and I'm still down to 19 health. Wow. It's 3, 11, 16 damage coming out chapter one. Now hopefully they won't be able to sustain that kind of attack. Right, we're kind of a little bit stuck here. So we're just going to heal. Put a jubbly first in case they've got an arch. Uh, they haven't got an arch mage or anything, so I should be okay. So let's just go for heals. We need a KGP. Right, he's only played two cards here, so hopefully he's slowed down. Oh no, he's only played one, hasn't he? Excellent. Uh, we need some good card draw here. We haven't seen any AP gain so far. It'd be nice to see an alley and a an Nastroth. That will get us going. Or to be honest, anything here. There's an Astroth. I think we kind of have to do this, don't we? We 
do that. Intent that. That into that. It's risky, but I kind of hope that my opponent can't burst me down. I'm taking 9 damage myself, healing for 6, so I'm down to 22. As long as he doesn't do 22 damage, I'm, I'm okay. Yep, he's only played one card. That's relatively safe. I have given him gold here, which could be bad news, but I had to do something to get off my feet. And in the meantime, Tari is tanking themselves down to 18 health. Which is good for us. Okay, the Nastroth does get us going. We're on 17 life, but we are ahead on base attack now, and we can one-hit the Fledgling straight away in the next chapter. Excellent. I've got to watch out for an Archmage Cedridor here. That is a dangerous card. Right. Uh, in that case, do we go Crassian first so that can't get hit? Crassian, Fledgling, Armor. Into a Slime Toes. Yeah, that's the play. Okay, so Cuffet Worker, so he's looking to build gold here. Maybe for a an Earth Blast or something. There's the oh the Archmage has hit the slime toes. That's bad news. That is bad news. That's eight damage. It's effectively six damage because I the heal afterwards. Okay, not the end of the world because we did adamant armor before. Death Lotus Assassin. Wow, I haven't seen a deck like this for a while. So we are down to 14 life. We need some heals here. Chapter 5, what do we do? Right then. Got a KGP. Right, uh, let's think about this. We need gold. We need gold. Right, Knum lets us Romilly. But it also lets us one hit that. That's that's the play. That is the play. It's twelve heal in this chapter. Not tanking any damage. We're just gaining attack for the final fight. Let's just hope he can't burst us down. Penguin Sheep. So he's going He's going all out for the win in this chapter before the final fight. So as long as we can sustain his attack in this chapter, we should win. There's a... W oh, baby. I don't know if we can now. If he's got, especially if he's got an Earth Blast at the end. Oh, double wind surge. Into what, though? Into what? Earth wave? That's a nine damage. Oh, I think we just about win. We've just about won this. Because we four hit him. And he can't four hit us. No, he, well, he can't three hit us. So, yeah, we win. That is a nice... That's an interesting deck he's got. It did kind of rely on me giving him gold to get him going, because he was a little bit brick before then. But, just about held on. We go up to rank 17 now, because we're on a win streak. So we're going to have one more game this episode. see who we queue up against now. We're against Samage. He's a gold 38, and I think this is the first time we're placing a gold player. Now, what sort of Ariane deck will this be? OK. 
Okay, so I think we get rid of the Calvert Emissary in this matchup and the bar fights. But I think we keep the Romilly and the Nastroth. Okay, right. So we go Slime Toes into Wolf into Cassian. Three gold into Alley. Let's set ourselves up for options. They're not going to be able to burst us down straight away. So we've got the Romilly Weeklax and the Nastroth in hand. Oh, it's an AP gain, Ariane. Okay, so we've drawn lots of options. We 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 know that we can do this. Crawling hand, yeah, I know this deck. This is Interjections Ariane Strike deck. I'm not sure. I've got a very good track record against this deck with Ozan. I don't think there's enough sustain in this deck to, to beat it. Because it gains AP so quickly. Right, I don't mind giving him gold though, because he doesn't run any gold spending cards at all. So the Knooms are free. Right, I, he won't be going for any sort of combo chapter 2 because he's got no cards. Which is good. So we can concentrate on getting our game going. Love a hope devourer here. There it is. AGP, um, hope devourer, full base, Romilly. Oh, tanking a lot of damage for AP game. Down to 14 life. Okay, this this is going to be interesting. Discard a Kalfa Emissary. Not the end of the world in this matchup. Now he tries to stabilize. He's still got no cards though. This is good. We are going to be down to 11 life and 7 armor. But we do heal with the Romilly afterwards. Let's hope we can slow him down by stealing his AP. Okay, so we've got lots of gold still. Got options. Pay for an Astroth. Uh, we can pay for a full Tetsu if we get one. Again, I don't. He's not going to be able to go for any sort of winning combo here because he's got no cards, and he's only on four base. So we've still got some time. Okay, what do we do here? Now, no triple weapon. Go for it. Right, then we go Nastroth to 5 base, 2 hit the Sentinel to 6 base, then armor up. I didn't want to spend it on the Romilly Weeklax in case we draw a full Tetsu. Okay, now he's drawing. But again, he's... he's Lacked card draw all through this game. Now potentially he could go for his combos. But four base attacks is not where you want to be. You need to be at five base attack of that deck to be able to get your combos going. If we can draw another Hope Devourer here, that would be good. I can slime toes into it. There's a full Tetsu, and a Dagonoth Fledgling. And he drawn a lot else though. Go for a bar fight there. Go for a Fledgling, we'll gain some gold. We'll gain more gold. We don't want to overheal yet. I don't think he's going to try and burst us down, so there's no need for a full Tetsu, etc. But it gives us options going into the last chapter. We've also got the Slime Toes. So we can go into a Hope Devourer final chapter if we need to. Okay, so he's gone Slime Toes. Ah, missed with the bar fight. That's annoying. I thought he was going to gain a base attack before going into a Slime Toes. Zemmorgal? Oh, wow. I didn't see that coming. 
That's 18 damage from Zamorgal. I've hit the bar fight though. So what's he going into now? Right, I could have done with playing some heals. Whoops. Down to 11 health. What's he going into? What's he going into? Yes, the, the bar fight has won me the game. That's a brilliant way to finish. Being greedy with his weapon. Didn't see the Zamorgal deck come in though. So, nice ideas, but it didn't pay off. And we end the episode on Silver rank 15. So, thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this, drop me a like and a subscribe. Uh, I'll see you next time.